Today in the Talking Animals portion of our show, local animal control officer Ed Fritt is going to tell us all about foxes. That's right, Red. Yeah. Or as they're known in the scientific community, vulpes vulpes. Wow. What does vulpes mean? Fox. So, so the scientific name is Fox Fox. Seem a little redundant to you? Well, not if you got one chasing you. Maybe you a little. Fox Fox! Yeah. Fox okay. Fox! Okay. Okay. Fox! All right, Fox! All right, all right, Ed. I understand. Okay. Well, why don't you bring him out here? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Actually, Red, you know, uh, it's a she. Oh. And uh, you're supposed to refer to the females as vixens. I'm not doing that, thanks anyway. <laughs> and, uh, just get the fox for us, will Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Something else I just remembered is the foxes aren't really all that sly. Mm -hmm. No, that's just a myth. Mm -hmm. I find that, uh, you know, their intentions are, are very clear. <laughs> get the fox, Ed? You got it. Yeah, right. You got it. Mm -hmm. You know, Red, um, I think most people already know what a fox looks like, right? Ed, you're doing a segment on my show about foxes. I think we need to see a fox. Of course you do. Yes, thank you. All right, for those of you here in the studio audience, I would caution you to not make any sudden moves or cross your legs in such a way that the animal could mistake you for a chicken. <laughs> Easy, easy, okay, easy. Don't anybody panic. No, all right, easy, all right, okay. Good. Good. All right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's a dog, Ed. It's a member of the canine family, yes. This is a fox terrier. <laughs> well, let's not argue about semantics, Red. You told me you were bringing a fox and you bring a fox terrier? Well, this should be good enough. I mean, it's got the word fox in it, you know. Uh, just use your imagination. I'm paying you a hundred bucks and you bring in a fox terrier? No, uh, you're paying me 200 bucks. No, I I'm paying you a hundred bucks. Just use your imagination. <laughs> well, you know how some people can't leave well enough alone? Well, if that's the case here, they found some new way of watching the Red Green Show. The expression flogging a dead horse also comes to mind. Anyway, there's some link somewhere. They're gonna put it on the screen probably right over my face if I know these guys. And you follow that and all the instructions and everything there. But apparently, they, have, they schedule and they watch shows or they put a bunch of handyman corners together or they, who knows what they're gonna do. But it's interactive, which means you actually get to interact, which of course I was never interested in doing. But uh, we got somebody who is, uh, check it out. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, don't call me.